This is what happened when we confronted a taxi driver for trying to overcharge us because he thought he was dealing with naive tourists. Por favor, dame, no, dame mi cambio. No, 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 no. Da, dame, no, no. Dame mi cambio. No, amigo, no, no. Dame, Alguien así. Dame mi no, cambio. No, no. Dame mi cambio. Well, we're back in Cartagena. You know me, I dip in, dip out. And in this episode, we're focusing on the taxis. I swear to you, some of them taxi drivers are notorious. Anyway, in Cartagena, there are literally thousands of taxi drivers. And bro, unlike other cities in Colombia, Cartagena is the only city where the taxi drivers don't use a digital taxi meter. And so with a combination of tourists and no digital meter, they can charge you anything they want, which is a scam because they do have set tariffs. Anyway, look closely. What do you see? Keep looking. Does everything look normal? Okay now. Now this is how we get most of our secret footage. We have these tiny cameras and they shoot in 4K. We walk around with these when we're trying to get real life authentic reactions. Because people don't even know they're there so they just be themselves. I mean, if you look closely, you can't even tell, especially because it's camouflaged all in black. And so this is what we use for our undercover recordings. I mean, it's so tiny, it can fit in the palm of your hands. So we're going to use this to catch a taxi scammer. Now, first of all, I like to say, if you can, avoid using a taxi, especially in third world developing countries. It can be really, really dangerous. I mean, these guys can set you up. If you can, just use a taxi application like Uber or in Colombia, they use InDriver because it's much safer and you won't get overcharged. Okay, so this is where we are on our Snitch 9 undercover stuff. Fixing up the microphone. Testing one, two. It's abierto. Um, tienes volume. Sí. Seguro? We're going to try and see how honest people are today. So the idea is to act like a naive, silly tourist to see if taxi drivers are still going to be honest and give you us know. the correct price. So I'm going to act like a, a foolish... Uh, who am I going to be this time? I'm going to be maybe a, a or something. According to the driving applications and my experience from living in Cartagena, I know this journey shouldn't be costing more than 10 mil pesos. That's 10,000 Colombian pesos. Anything more than this, they're trying to scam us or they're trying to pull a fast one on me. I just want to see. There are opportunists everywhere, so I'm not expecting a lot of honesty, especially when it comes to tourists. Hi, I'm looking for a taxi to um, to, to, to the Torre de Relo. You got somebody with you right now? No, no, estoy ocupado. Ocupado? Sí. What does that mean? Aquí esperando a alguien. You're waiting for somebody? Otro taxi. All right, all right. Hey. So I'm acting and speaking and moving like a really, really naive tourist. Hi, I'm trying to get to Torre de Relo. How much is that? 20. 20? All right. And so there you go, double the price. Oh, man. If you had used the application, oh, that will cost you 10. Thanks. Oh. And so now we're repeating the same journey from where we arrived back to where we came from. Again, the cost should be 10, maximum 15. He says 50. That's four times the price. My guy is also following at the back with a secret camera hidden in his bag. He's going to be documenting everything that transpired as part of this journey. The guy tells the driver it's 50, 50. And he has the audacity to still ask me for a tip. Oh no, 50. The driver gets nervous and tells his accomplice to leave. I guess he doesn't want nothing to get in the way of the 50 he's about to make from me. 
Boca Grande. Yeah, Calle Nueva. Calle, Calle Nueva. Nine. Okay. And so I decided to make some small talk and put on my best English accent. You know, the naive tourist from Shropshire in England. How long have you been taxiing here? You don't understand. Oh, okay. You're, you're from Cartagena, right? Oh, okay. And so I figured, since this guy's already trying to scam me, I might as well enjoy myself and make a fool out of the situation. This place is not like England. We just sip tea and have biscuits in England, in London. We love having tea and biscuits. We really do enjoy it. Do you like tea, coffee? I tell you what, this place reminds me of sometimes good old jolly England in Shropshire. Jolly spiffing. Sometimes we we go out there and we do all kinds of fox after the no uh, oh, okay. after the McDonald's we do all kinds of fox hunting. Do you like hunting foxes and drinking them coffee and all of that? So it's just here, just this building over here, just here. And so I ask him one more time, how much is it? How much was it? How much? 50. 50. This? Okay. Thank you very much. And at that moment, he thought he had made another 50 from another naive tourist, but he's about to get a big surprise as I confront him in Spanish. No, it's 40 mil. 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 No, no Yo te he dicho a ti, yo pero te cobré, no bueno, pero yo, yo te lo cobré, yo. No, pero ahora mismo. Ahí si sí, él me la monta, yo, yo iba por otra Entonces, carrera. Entonces, da, da, da mi 35, 15 mil. Pero es no bueno, tú sabes. No ven, no ven. Pero en realidad, amigo, esto no es bueno, tú sabes el precio. No es, Cuando yo digo... 50, 15, ¿cuánto? Tú dices 50. Él fue, 50. Él fue Porque el que tú dijo. piensas que soy gringo, no sabe él nada. Él fue el que dijo, yo no te he dicho, él fue el que dijo, él va a pagar 50. I mean, it's amazing that he didn't want to take responsibility. He kept blaming the other guy who brought me to the taxi. So we got the secret camera in hand. So over here we have one bunch of tourists. Now, this next taxi driver I confronted is absolutely the yeah, worst of so, the worst. Um, this kind of taxi driver is the kind who could set you up. You know, we, and he's the type one. that, if police get involved, they're going to believe him over you. Because he speaks better Spanish than you. Hello, I'm trying to get to Centro. Okay, my friend. Um, to, to know the tourist areas, are you able to take me? Can we go? Okay. Okay. It's a very, uh, a very good day here in in in, uh, in Cartagena. Are you from Cartagena? Yes. Yeah. It's my first time here in, in Cartagena. No, no bilingüe, no, no entiendo mucho inglés. Okay. And so I try and act more naive by speaking English. This normally gives taxi drivers more confidence to try and rip you off. So I'm trying to go to all the tourist spots, all the, the, the tourism, the, the turismo. Turismo. Yeah. 
Este es el tour turismo. This is the tour this is the tourist area. Boca Grande. Boca Grande. So, okay, where can I see the castle? Okay. That's fine. Now, trust me, this journey with this particular driver was only about five or six minutes long. I just acted like I was a little bit confused and got him to drive me around a couple of blocks because I just wanted to see what would he charge me for that. Okay, maybe, can you show me where the, uh, the beach is, the beach areas, the beach around here? No entiendo, amigo. No. The, the, uh, Okay, so okay, show me the tourist, the tourist. Tour. Yeah. He says tour, but believe you me, he ain't take me on no tour, because a tour would have taken two or three hours. There's awkward silence. It's time for Johnny from Shropshire. I really, really enjoy Cartagena. Cartagena is amazing, fantastic place, isn't it? Muy, eh, muy hermoso, Cartagena. Yeah, and they've got beautiful women here. Very, very big, ah, oh, fantastic. What's what's down here? Is this a okay? Mm -hmm. So after riding around literally for about five or six minutes, I get him to stop me by the beach. Okay, yeah. So maybe over here would be a good place uh, to stop. Okay. Right. Uh, so this is the beach, right? Okay, so how much is it? How much? Yeah, how, how much money? Uh, peso? Yeah, how much peso? Uh, cien mil. What is that? Cien? Cien, cien peso. I swear, I couldn't believe this guy was charging me 100 for a five minute journey. Uh, cien mil. Is that 10 or one minute? Is it this or? The city tour. Okay. City tour, but we didn't even go nowhere. The Cien Mil. Yes. This. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. And now I'm about to surprise him as I confront him about his lying and cheating okay. in Spanish. Thank you. Pero, amigo. Tú sabes, no cien mil. Esto máximo es ocho mil. No, amigo, usted me dio no, que me No, no, tú, no. tú sabes, tú sabes. No, esto, amigo. Tú sabes, esto no es cien mil. Yo vivo aquí, yo hablo español. ¿Por qué tú así conmigo? ¿Esto es justo? No, esto es lo justo, no, amigo. ¿Esto es justo? Dime. Sí, si es justo, amigo. No, ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Yo estoy prestando un servicio a usted. No, no, ¿cómo? 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 Pero, ¿cómo que esto es un sitio Solo, solo cinco minutos. Esto no es un sitio. Amigo, usted me preguntó que cuánto era y yo le dije que cien mil. Yo no, la, no, lo no, 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 no. Lo amigo, 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 esto viaje, este camino es solo como cinco minutos. No, ¿Cómo no, que no, tú no. cobras cien mil para esto? Cien mil, si tú estás hablando inglés, te trae mucho dinero de allá. Yo soy un pobre aquí en Cartagena, vivo del taxi, no tengo más plata. No, pero el precio no es cien mil. Esto no es justo. Está bien, amigo. Mira, mira, mira. Por favor, dame, no, dame mi cambio. No, 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 no. no. Da, dame, no, no. dame mi cambio. No, amigo, no, no. Dame, Está bien así. Dame mi cambio. Está bien así, amigo. Está dame mi cambio. No, dame mi cambio. No paga nada, estúpido. Vamos. And so I just want to add that even though overall there were more negative experiences and by negative I mean a situation where you know we're paying more than the required fee there were instances in which we actually met taxi drivers in Cartagena who were really honest and wanted to do the right thing they never overcharged us and so I ran this same test with various friends and even Colombian women and the results were always varying but the one constant 
was that it's always better to try and get an Uber or to get an in-driver using the application because that way you minimize all the haggling with all the different taxi drivers. The next few drivers that we spoke to were kind enough to give us a little bit more insight about the kind of prices that we should be expecting. Amigo, soy, soy un artista. Artista. Sos. No es 20 mil. No. No 100 mil. De propina de corazón, no de presión. Sí, 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 sí. Ok, ok. Boca Grande. Boca How grande. much to Boca Grande? Boca Grande McDonald's. How yeah. much? How much? 15. 15. 15? Yeah. No problem. 15. 15. 15. 15. 12. propina, 15. Ok. Give him an interview, man. Let's give this guy an interview. ¿A dónde voy? Aquí. Do you speak English? No, mucho, no. Okay, pero tú sabes un poco palabras en English or Spanish? Do you want this interview in English or Spanish? Español. Okay. Entonces, ¿cuánto normalmente cobra? Para no, ma, uh, aquí, centro, a ah, Boca okay. Grande. Normalmente en la tarifa. Para lo juro, para gente no, que escuchando esto, documentario. Okay. Documental. Ok, perfecto. Normalmente en la tarifa, en el plan, en la tarifa sale 7,800 pesos. 7,800 pesos. And so there you heard it. That's the maximum you should be paying for a basic journey. En este documental, eh, las personas de taxistas a veces engañan al cliente y cobra más de 15,000. A veces para mí, una vez, 100,000 pesos. Muy fuerte. 100 mil pesos. ¿Esto es justo? No, no es justo. ¿Tú no, alguna vez practicado algo así con un cliente? No. Nunca. Prefiero mejor decirle que me dé lo que saque de su corazón. Ok, ok. Ok, bueno. Bueno, bueno, gracias para eso. La idea, la idea es prestarle un servicio que usted se sienta satisfecho. Que se, usted diga, sí, vuelvo a Cartagena. Mm. Ok. ¿Vale? Ok.